Day 14 of Sober October in aid of Macmillan Cancer Support. Day 14, I can't believe it. 14 days without a beer. I am joined by my wonderful daughter. This is Holly. Hiya. That's a lot better than what she just did a minute ago. She went, hiya. Got a bit, uh, a bit excited then, didn't you? Yeah. That's it. She's 13 in November, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes. Big 13. Tw 29th of November. I remember when she was really little, small, about two year old, we had a pet shop. And we tried to put her on the shelves to sell her, but nobody will bother doing more interested in the dead wasp at the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is about take four because we've had fits and giggles as well, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at one point you needed a wee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So what I thought was, it, it's just something a little bit different. We'd do a little bit of an interview and what she actually thought about everything. And maybe talk about... Um, when about a mum when she had cancer and how she felt about it. So we'll start off on a, a more happier note. We'll talk about Sober October. Um, obviously, I've raised £1,250, are we, at the minute. I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. What do you reckon to that? I think it's absolutely amazing. You've raised quite a bit, and it's going to go towards people who have obviously got cancer, and it's going to help all them people out there who's got cancer. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think, we're, I think the, and it's all down to your generosity as well. You've been absolutely fantastic. Even the people have just spread the link as well. Now, Matt Millen helped us out when your mum um, had cancer. They gave us £400 to help towards the hotel and also to get there. So they do an absolute fantastic job. Not only for that as well, they do um, end of life care as well. You know, people who are not going to get any better to support them. Yeah. So they, they are a, a fantastic cause. And again, thank you so much for everybody who's donated. Obviously, when your mum were poorly, um, you, you were telling me just before we got on the camera, you remember me, me first telling you. Yeah. Do you want to tell them how that Yeah, happened? so they sent Fern up to bed, which is my sister, and sent her up. And I can remember, it was all outside. I think we were having a meal outside. They just cooked it. And they told us that mum had had cancer and we all hugged and cried and then we, we thought we knew we'd get, we just knew yeah. that we'd get through it together. Um, but I can just remember that day like very vividly. Yeah, um, you, you, what, would you have been about six? About six and then yeah. about five, yeah. five-ish. So yeah, yeah it, it's obviously rough at the age that you are, you are yeah, at. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then obviously mum had a, a, her operation. And then, it, I, I've said in, in my, you watched the vlog, didn't you? Yeah. Um, I, that I, it, it got a little bit worse after the operation. you think with the operation would be really, really bad, which it was, but it got a little bit worse because obviously mum was really, really poorly. She had the, the blood clot and we made the decision that instead of you seeing her, you, you sort of lose her hair, but instead of you seeing her that poorly, that she would be better off at, at grandma's. Oh, nice. So it was just us, wasn't it? They were just us three. There were me, you, well, us four. Should we say? Well, in fact, we'll say five because we're going to include Zach, aren't we? Because oh, he would yeah. be. Yeah. So they, they were Ollie, Daniel, Fern, me. And uh, it, it, it wasn't the, the easiest, were it? No, it wasn't. Not at all. You didn't like me getting you up in the morning, did you? No. I'm, I'm going to say, Dad, Mum. Mum makes you up very nicely. Dad is like, come on, guys, let's get up. <laughs> yeah, it's regimented. But yeah, but with me, they have full breakfast. Yeah. Full breakfast and all the clothes are put... <laughs> are on the radiator, so they're nice and toasty, they're always iron, they're nice and not radiator, you're just so nice and cuddly. See, mine's regimental, get them up, get them out, and then it's, it's, it's also then five, ten minutes before they go into school, they, they can just relax, they're all done. Louise is a little bit more manic, the only thing you hear in the morning with them lot is shouting, everybody's shouting. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah we, and the thing is, is, is you went on, um, uh, it was half term as well, so yeah. that was easy, six weeks holidays as well. Now, Louise were coming back near enough every day to come and see us, weren't she? Or yeah. if she were at a treatment, obviously she was doing five days, three days off, and then going back for a day, and she would stay in hospital. So sometimes we wouldn't see her um, for the whole week. But we were doing telephone calls and, and um, FaceTime. FaceTime. Calls. Yeah. yeah. Now, we, we tried to go out, didn't we? Yeah. 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 We, we went to, can you remember when we went to see One Direction? Yeah. And I kept saying I had Facebook and Twitter and all that, can you remember? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the wildlife park, didn't we? Yeah. That and was uh, the, there was the fake um, One Direction. And bearing in the mind, bearing in the time, I loved One Direction. You did, that. yeah. <laughs> you still like them, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be hip, she loves One Direction. <laughs> no, I think they're, they're split now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So, we, again, they're only young. I've got... Push chair, fern in that. I've got these two, and we went round the wildlife park. I lost my phone on the way there, um, so we got got to the wildlife park. We had a bit of a laugh, didn't we, around there? And then we went to see this one direction. So I, can you remember? I got I got this blanket out, yeah. put all the food out, everything that we needed, and fern. Uh, sorry, Daniel needed a wee. 
So I can't obviously leave her with the blanket and my two-year-old. Uh, so we had to, <laughs> had to pack everything all the way up. Went over to the the toilets, which were miles away, trunking this bloody push chair on her. <laughs> so I get back, put everything all out, and then she wanted a wee. <laughs> I went, right, you're going over there. <laughs> the so yeah, we, we tried to do stuff uh, as well, trying to keep things as normal as we could do. It, 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 were, it were, all of us were upset when we for yeah, a long very, time. Yeah. And we tried yeah. to, we tried to keep, we still had a laugh, didn't we? Yeah, we, we had laughs, yeah. We, I can remember we, every Friday night we always used to watch a movie and yeah. have, have pizza and stuff. And then at the end we'd all have a snuggle on the couch, we'd all get on the couch, top on each other. And yeah. we always used to give each other hugs and everything, it was lovely. Yeah, it, it, were, it were a hard time for everybody. It, and obviously Louise is going through this, so she's, she's not only getting poisoned with the chemotherapy, she's then worrying about us as well. Oh, yeah. Um, how did it affect you with your mum? Have you cancer? Um, it made me very, very upset. And I went to school and a teacher helped me, didn't she? She did little games with me every day and she just talked to If I needed to talk to someone, she was there for me. Um, and obviously at home I could speak to people as well. But I just thought of the positive out of it. I knew she wasn't, she was, she, she was all right. And I just didn't think of the bad all the time. I always yeah, thought. Well, at that time we didn't know, we didn't um, know. if she was going to survive or if she wasn't going to survive. It, it, it was. Take it as it comes. It were, but yeah, they, they helped you at school then? Yeah, they helped me at school. Um, and, That's what and basically, there was, there was they would play these little games in this like, big room. Um, and it just made my mind get off of it completely. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we, we you know about obviously mum's now got a lump um, in yeah. the side of her leg. And she, we're going on the 14th to see the doctor. How is that affecting you? Do, you? do you worry about that daily or do you sort of put it to the back of your mind? or? Um, how? put it to the back of my mind because I know it's not going to be anything bad. Well that's yeah, touch wood. Touch wood. Yeah, touch wood. Yeah that's what that's how I even deal with because we, we've had it before haven't we where yeah. mum's blood haven't come back properly. No, yeah. And we've we've had to deal with that and then at the end again we're all jumping and, and laughing and joking when, yeah. it, when, when it comes back. I think the biggest thing that people need to realise and I, I know people who have gone through cancer would, would know this, the, the person who's actually going through it is having a hell of a time, but also the people who are left at home or, or on the other side of it are as well. It affects everybody. Um, and I've got to admit, you were absolutely fantastic. She was so, as a six year old, she'd help. Um, you were absolutely fantastic. And, and you've, you've been a, a wonderful daughter with everything that your mum's gone through, you know. And the support that you give your mum's amazing. She's an absolute wonderful, wonderful daughter, and I love her so much. So instead of let's uh, doing all the sad stuff, that sort of bits of the story, let's talk about you. So you're at school? Yeah. How's school going? Absolutely amazing. Lovely. Uh, no, no more C4s? I have not got one C4. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know. She, she's, she's really intelligent. She's really good. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Teacher. You want to be a teacher? Primary school teacher, so I teach everything. She wants to be a primary school teacher. That's good. And do you think you'll get the grades for that? Definitely. Um, obviously with the coronavirus and everything that things have been a little bit difficult aren't they? Yeah, we're not in the actual school anymore, we're in a different part of the building. Talk are you? you do you know what, she's the gobbiest kid we've got and we, we, we've got a microphone there and she's trying to whisper. Okay then I'll speak loud like That's this. it lovely, so, uh, yeah but normally you do, we can hear you around the house. <laughs> Right then ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap this up and um, let's have a little bit of what we've actually raised. We are at, you're probably not going to be able to see this, it won't zoom in that far, £1,250. When you've actually watched this, the um, Three Men and a Vape show would have already happened. Again, if you're not into vaping, that's a vaping show. So maybe we would have raised a little bit more money, <coughs> fingers crossed. We've also got the auction, Harley's auction. Again, that will be down in the description so you can go over there. There's loads of vape gear for, for auction. I think we're up to about £135 on that, pounds. £135. Plus we've got another £100 coming from Gary Kenny and also um, the Vapeheads. Big shout out to Vapeheads for all the support. I just want to say thank you very much for you doing this little bit of an interview. It's not the easiest thing to be in front of no, the camera, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> you thought it was, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I thought it And we've had good. tons of fits of giggles. What I might do is I might yeah. cut, stay till the end after the credit bit and then have a little look there I might stick some of the funny bits that we've done on. Yeah, that would be great. Right then people, end of day 14. Tomorrow we're gonna class us halfway there because I'm only after tomorrow, I've only got 14, is it four? No, have I got 14 days tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. no, was it 15 days? 15, 15 days, days to do. 
We're smashing it, people. Big love to everybody. All your comments. I haven't actually got back to everybody yet. I might have already done it before you're watching this. So this me has probably already replied to you. Big love to everybody. Look after yourselves. And we'll see you tomorrow night for day 15. I have to make sure I remember that. <laughs> Say goodbye, Ellie. See you later. Bye. Bye. Obviously I've had 14 days I'm here, don't have to keep looking at the camera, She's uh, she wants to be a bit of a pop star I think. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Daughter, this is Holly. Hiya. But what was that? <laughs> I was going to say you Hiya. <laughs> Take three. Setting me off now. Alright, cool, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, cool. So, come on. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's go. We, we've got we've got to get through this because right, we've got to get through this because I've got to do a um, thing at show yeah. Right, come on, then. And I want to speak to Gandalf for a bit. Okay. Day fourteen of sober act. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> October. 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 <laughs> okay, ready. Come on. Can you do this. this I'm gonna see myself on YouTube. Come on. <laughs>